You for sure use AI in your everyday work, like for example ChatGPT. But did you try to use AI together with database? This is exactly what Chat2DB does. It simplifies working with different databases by leveraging AI. This video is brought to you by Chat2DB. So what exactly is Chat2DB? It is a possibility to write plain text to AI and it will modify your database. Let's see how it works on the example. Here is Chat2DB application and first of all I need to create new connection. As you can see, there are lots of different databases that are supported. I will use Postgres. Most importantly, you must have a Postgres which is running in the cloud or on your machine. I already have a Postgres on my machine. This is why here I can select a name. Localhost is fine. Environment test. Storage should be local. My host is localhost. And my user is Postgres with password 123. The database is Postgres here, and here you must select a driver. If you don't have here a driver selection, you must click a button a little bit lower with install driver. After this, we are clicking save, and we are connected to our database. So we can open here our public folder, tables, and we see that we don't have any tables. Now let's start using AI. So we can jump to the console, and obviously you can write here SQL commands. But we don't want that, we want to use AI. So we can type here any text that we want, and AI will generate for us an SQL query. So here I want to create a table products with ID name, total sold, total revenue, and inventory fields. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different models that we can select from. I will use here Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. As you can see, AI directly generated for us this SQL. And actually, this is valid SQL with all fields that we want. So we can simply click here play, and our SQL is applied, and on the left we see our products table. This is really nice, but we don't have any data. So here now I will write insert 10 rows of mock data, check what fields I have first. And here what I did, I wrote add products, because this is exactly the table which I want to modify. Here is what we are getting as a response. Insert into products and we are getting some values. We can run this query and let's check our products. Now our table is filled and we can start development with this data in seconds. But let's say it is not enough to have just stable products, we also want another table with relations between product and for example product detail. So here I am telling it, generate a product detail table, which has a relation to products table, with fields description, weight, brand, and country of origin. As you can see we are getting our SQL as a result, and we have here a foreign key product ID with reference exactly what we want. I'm hitting here apply, and our table is there. But we're still missing some data in this detail table, so let's set here mock data to all existing products in product detail table. And as you can see, I didn't even specify the table that I want to work with, it can understand it on its own. And here is our generated SQL, where it randomly applied some values. But as you can see, here is the problem. When I'm running this SQL, we're getting an error message that no function matches the given name and argument types. What can we do? We can click here, fixing the chat. And here we're getting a nice explanation. Because the issue is in the Postgres, random function returns a value of type double precision, but Postgres round requires specific argument type. And here is the solution. So we can just copy it and try again. As you can see now, it was successful, and inside our product details, we have all this generated data. But actually, it would be really nice if we can see all our tables and relations between them. So we can write here on tables and click ER model. And here we are getting a schema of all our tables and relations between them. And inside the console here, you obviously can write just normal SQL queries like select, star from products for example and run this query, but obviously you want to leverage AI as much as possible. This is why what you might want to do is write something like this. Select product ID, name with product details, brand and country of origin. I'm just sending the request and we're getting our query. It is a bit more complicated than simple select because here we're joining our products. I'm hitting here play and voila, 
we're getting exactly data what we asked for. In the same way, you can use chat, but additionally here, you can select the data source that you want to use. Like for example, here I can select public and then it will be aware what database we are talking about. Now here I want to ask, show me five products with lowest inventory. And it is really interesting what it does here. It doesn't just understand our input and what table we are talking about, but after it generated code, it verifies SQL. So it's not just giving you some random SQL to test it out, it verifies that this SQL is working. And here is our result. We are not just getting a list, but we are getting a graph. So basically Chat2DB can generate a graph for you, which you can export to image, for example. And here we are getting our five products with the lowest inventory. And if we want to change this, we can click on settings chart, open this and tune it here. Like for example, we want to show legend here or maybe tune the theme color. In the same way, we can ask to generate a chart directly. For example, here I want to get a chart of total sold products. And as a result, we see our SQL query and this chart, which shows exactly the data that we requested. But this is not all. Additionally, here we can click on our chart and select a dashboard. I don't have any dashboard, so let's create a dashboard my and select it here. I'm clicking OK and we added this chart to our dashboard. So here on the left, we can click on the dashboards. Here is my dashboard and we see our pinned chart. In exactly the same way, I can pin, for example, a result of the table. And we also see it inside our dashboard. Additionally to that, we can go to settings and provide a refresh rule, like refresh by minute and let's say every five minutes, which means we can directly see all our charts and queries that we want to check in our dashboard. But it is not all, we can also ask AI to generate backend code for our application based on our database. So here I am writing generate CRUD code for products in Node.js. It checks all fields of our table and prepares code for us that we can use directly. So here it creates Postgres connection and generate function like create, select or delete inside Node.js. And additionally to that, you have all possibilities to work with this UI like with any normal UI for the database. We can select here our table and see the content or we can directly update our fields inside or do a lot of other stuff like editing table, copy name, exporting as a SQL file and so on. And the last thing that I want to show you is how it can help you to optimize your queries. Here I am asking it to optimize the query for our table that I know is slow. So here we use distinct and it was slow because it requires sorting and removing all duplicates. It refactors this code correctly by using exists to stop scanning when we found the first match. So it can also help you with optimizing your queries. So as you can see, Chat2DB is quite a powerful tool. So don't forget to check it yourself. I will leave a link to it in the description box below.